Almost forgot to turn on my mic. My music's loud for good reason. It's a good day. And do you know why it's a good day? It's a Monday. And Mondays mean a lot of things. It means it's a it's a chance for a new start. It's a new week, new everything, new, just newness is nice. Fresh restart, talking about fresh restart. I need some water, fresh water. Actually, no, that's like salty, isn't it? I don't really know my waters that well. Oh God. What have I got planned for today, you may be asking? Um, working, editing, probably crying. Joking, <laughs> I won't be working. A little joke for you there, you know, just to loosen up the vlog a bit. March is going pretty slow, what I'm happy with because I have assignments due and I need that time. <laughs> Thank you, March. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I need a coffee. Oh, God, focus. Uh, <laughs> I was supposed to be writing a bloody essay, but I just got the notification saying I have a parcel, which means that I need to go get it. Uh, Max with mail. Mail time with Max. I think someone just laughed at me. This is a gift for someone. If someone got this for me for my birthday, I would be very happy. So I hope they like it. It's a, it's a book up film for someone's birthday. I'm sure they're going to love it. Uh, I'm looking forward to giving it to them. I have to wrap it tonight though. And I'm awful at wrapping, both with paper and verbally. Wrap. Oh crap. About to take a nap. Um. Do the whap. Rap. Rap. Oh, I've already used rap. Um, oh, I can't say that. Um, I'm currently absolutely loaded with work. Uh, exciting times ahead. As I have got quite a lot of work to do, I thought I would upload something that I, I can upload. Uh, this is the first bit of uni work I done. I'm probably going to do another one of these episodes. So ne the next vlog will probably be a bit like the same where I give an introduction to something I've, I've already made. So this is like a safety episode. This is a video essay made in first term about dancing in film. I love dancing, I love film, so I had to make a video essay about it. But yeah, dancing through film. So world famous Jackrabbit Slims twist contest. Dance is expression. Ever since prehistoric times, us as humans have danced, and we still do today. The silver screen isn't the only home for the art, but it certainly has a space in the history of cinema, and most notably, Hollywood. For me, when I think about dance and film, one particular scene comes to mind. In Alex Garland's 2014 film Ex Machina, we are shown this scene, in where Oscar Isaac's character Nathan and Kyoko, an unreadable resident of the house, tearing up the dance floor. Tore up her picture. I'm gonna tear up the fucking dance floor, dude. Check it out. Now, most commonly, dance scenes are used for a form of expression of love and joy, but Ex Machina uses it for a purpose to intimidate, because when you add the context to the scene, it becomes much more than just a dance break. From the use of mise-en-scene, you can feel the steady unease. The red wash lighting controlling the room adds a sense of danger. Also, through the blocking, we can see the isolation of Caleb from the two dancing. In the performance of Dom Hall Gleason, you can clearly see the physical distress he has when he watches this unorthodox scene take place in completely unexpected circumstances. Not to mention the dance itself. The style Stylish movement, all in complete unison, helps add to the obscureness of the scene, as exemplifies the unpredictable nature of Nathan's character. In comparison to other dance sequences, from films like Dirty Dancing, La La Land and Scene in the Rain, they use this form of expression in order to move the story into a positive direction, or to show a positive character development. This can be done subliminally for the use of the bright costume, performance, or even the location of the dance itself. It's more important to note that Ex Machino creates this menacing underlying tension through the detailed uses of film form. The edit, what may not be overtly evident, subtly orientates the audience in Caleb's perspective as the cuts are used to show us his reaction rather than focusing on the dance itself, leading the audience to use their imaginations of what it could be. This scene subverts the audience expectations, and some would argue by doing this it creates a dark atmosphere more effectively than most modern day horror films. This scene transitions us into the third act, and helps build this gap between the characters of Caleb and Nathan, where before there was more similarities than differences. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely an interesting one, one that if I had probably had more time I could probably do it a lot better, and of Obviously we had to keep it under two minutes, so there was that problem as well, so... <laughs> but I'm not really one for video essays, it's not really my style, you know me, I'm not the most intellectual person ever. Yeah, thank you for, for watching it, um, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you on Saturday's video. Goodbye. Where's my lens cap? Let's just... Bye!